Hello everyone, hope all of you are in good health, doing well. Today in this video lecture, we are going to discuss one of the important topics of Indian history. As you can see on your screen, we will be discussing here periodization of Indian history. We have already in previous video lecture discussed what is history and we know that history in simpler terms can be defined as study of human past or study of past events. As such in history, we deal with a long time period which comprises of thousands of years. In order to understand, study, comprehend changes in socio-economic political aspects in a better way, we divide human history, we divide Indian history into different periods. This process of dividing history into different periods is called as periodization. Periodization makes study of history much easier. It is much easier to study different periods than to study history in bulk. The periodization that is dividing history into different periods is done on the basis of certain features, certain characteristics. That is, each period had, has its own characteristics. Each period has its own features and is distinct from other periods, both preceding periods as well as succeeding periods. We know human culture has not been same always. Different periods have seen different changes. There have been inventions and discoveries, be they in social, political, economic, religious or technological aspects. Taking these changes, these developments into consideration and the effects that these developments, that these inventions, that these changes had, we divide history into different periods. With respect to Indian history, the first attempt in this regard was done by James Mill, a British historian, who in his book, A History of British India, for the first time divided Indian history into three periods. The first period he called as Hindu period. The second period he called as Muslim period. And the third period he called as British period. This classification of Indian history put forth by James Mill wherein he divided Indian history into Hindu, Muslim and British periods was rejected by Indian historians mainly on following grounds. Firstly, this classification was dubbed as communal as is very much clear as Mill divided Indian history mainly on religious lines. Further as we see this classification is faulty as well. If we look at Mill's classification clearly and seriously, there are serious errors. For example, the period that Mill categorized as Hindu period has seen rise of two other great religions, namely Buddhism and Jainism. And even greatest rulers in this period were either Buddhists or Jain. For example, you might have heard the name of Ashoka the Great, the Mauryan king, who was a Buddhist. Similarly, the period classified as Muslim has seen many Hindu rulers. Further, we see bias in Mill's classification, the classification proposed by James Mill. As last period has not been labeled on religious lines, it has been called as British, not Christian. So there is a clear bias when we, when we look at Mill's classification. Since this classification, as we have talked earlier, as I said already, that this classification proposed by Mill has been rejected by Indian historians. As such, Indian historians came up with a different periodization for Indian history. Indian historians have divided Indian history into four main periods as under. The first period is ancient period. The second period is called as medieval or early medieval period. The third period is called as medieval period. And the fourth period is called as modern period. We will study one by one all these periods, what happened in these periods, what is their timeline and many other aspects and the features of all these periods and how these divisions are done and what separates one period from the other period. The first one that we take up is ancient period. The timeline of this period is from beginning. 
that is from paleolithic culture which is the first culture and from where we begin study of indian history till gupta period that is till 6th century ad this ancient period of indian history is further divided into sub periods namely prehistoric period proto historic period and proper historic period we have already in previous video lecture discussed what is prehistory what is proto history and what is history in some detail those who are unable to comprehend it here must go to that very video lecture to know about what is prehistory what is proto history and what is proper history the important developments that we see in ancient period are ancient period of indian history when we move from prehistoric period to historic period or when we move from paleolithic culture to gupta age to 6th century ad we see that there is emergence of writing the first important characteristic the second is invention of agriculture the third important change that occurs is emergence of village life and then subsequent formation of towns and cities these are the important changes that occur in human culture during ancient period first writing was invented uh, agriculture was invented uh, villages came into being then towns and the cities developed in general ancient period of indian history is characterized by expanding agriculture urbanity that is development and formation of urban centers towns and cities and expansion of trade and commerce the second period of indian history that we have is called as early medieval period after the decline of gupta empire ancient period of indian history ends a new period begins called as early medieval period this period ranges from 6th century ad where ancient period ends and lasts till 13th century ad when a new period begins here from 6th century onwards a new socio economic political system emerges and continues to dominate indian history till 13th century this new system is called as feudalism political disunity is the hallmark of this age as well as we see decline in trade and commerce and much dependence on agriculture as a result in early medieval period there is decline of urban centers there is decline of cities and towns these characteristic these characteristics distinguish early medieval period from ancient period where there was no feudalism and there is feudalism in early medieval period there was expansion of agriculture trade and commerce whereas there is no such thing in early medieval period in fact all these activities that is trade and commerce come to a halt in early medieval period however the important point to note here is that feudalism does not emerge all of a sudden in early medieval period it signs can be found during gupta age though it became more profound after gupta period early medieval period of indian history has been labeled by indian historians as dark age in indian history the third period of indian history that we are going to discuss is medieval period in the 11th and 12th century ad india was invaded by central asian powers first by mahmud of ghazni and then by mohammad gori mahmud of ghazni raided india some 17 times looted the wealth and returned back to ghazni he had no ambitions whatsoever of establishing his empire in india but the second invader mohammad gori did so he conquered various regions of india and established his political control on indian conquests through his most trusted general qutbuddin aibak mohammad gori died in 1206 ad and his governor in india qutbuddin aibak took control of his indian conquests thus was established what is known as delhi sultanat in 1206 ad
द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ दहली सल्तनत इन 1206 एडी उशर्ड ए न्यू एरा इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री एंड बिगेन व्हाट इज नोन एज मिडीवल एज और मिडीवल पीरियड which ended in 18th century ad the beginning of medieval age or medieval period in 1206 ad put an end to the previous age that is early medieval period this period saw revival of trade and commerce urbanity development of agriculture and science and technology thus adding thus ending the dark ages in india as well as we see new political and administrative setup influenced by islamic political system were established in india the socio religious milieu of india changes with the coming of islam and new language persian not only this a new style of architecture called as indo islamic style of architecture which is a mixture of indian and west central asian styles came into being in short medieval period is distinct very much different from early medieval period in all its aspects the fourth and the last period of indian history that we have is modern period the modern period in indian history starts from 18th century from 1757 ad till present the modern period in indian history in exact terms uh, starts from 1800, 1757 when british won battle of plassey and established their political control over bengal the word modern period or modern age was first used in european history the modern age represents an age of equality liberty fraternity freedom reason and logic modern science and technology and democratic setup this is what characterizes modern age in a real sense these things did not exist in modern india but nonetheless india was exposed to such ideas during british rule we see debates during british rule on issues like democracy liberty freedom of speech and expression and more these elements in true sense are seen in indian history after independence of india all these characters that are hallmark of modern period that is equality liberty freedom modern science and technology and particularly and above all democratic setups were absent in medieval period so we sum up our discussion in this last slide Uh, that is we have seen that indian history now is divided into four periods that is ancient period early medieval period medieval period and modern period ancient period of indian history ranges from beginning that is when we start the studies into indian history till 6th century ad that is from paleolithic period till the end of gupta age early medieval period the second period of indian history starts after the decline of gupta empire and ends with the establishment of delhi sultanate in 1206 ad medieval period of indian history starts with the establishment of delhi sultanate in 1206 ad and ends with the establishment of british rule in 1770 1757 uh, Modern period of Indian history starts in 1757 when British won Battle of Plassey, established their political control in Bengal, and continues till present. Thank you for watching.